I need to tell you guys about this woman. Dr. Wilfred Ashby was way ahead of her time scientifically. The technique that she developed opened so many doors for studying blood transfusion and blood storage. She also shattered some misconceptions of the effectiveness of blood transfusion of her time. Oh yeah, and she did this before women can even legally vote. So in the 1910s, Dr. Wilfred Ashby determined that no one actually knew how long transfused blood survived in a recipient's body. The general consensus at the time was that it lasted about two weeks once transfused. But this was based on some inherently flawed science. See, the scientists that had tried to study this previously tried things like staining or dyeing the blood, but this would accelerate the destruction of the cells. So Dr. Ashby devised a method that didn't rely on stains or dyes or animal products or anything of the sort. Here's how the Ashby technique worked. To understand this technique, you just gotta understand a couple things. Firstly, when red blood cells are combined with incompatible plasma, these red blood cells will clump or even explode. Secondly, type O red blood cells are compatible with all the other blood groups' plasma. The O red cells don't react at all. But type O plasma will make the red cells of all the other blood groups, A, B, and AB, clump. She realized that she could transfuse blood from a type O donor into a type AB recipient. From there, she could take periodic blood samples. She can then add type O plasma to the sample, making the recipient's type AB red cells clump and leaving the donor's type O red cells for counting. So she was able to determine through these periodic blood samples how long a donor's blood survived in a recipient's body. This did two things. Firstly, she proved that there were long-term benefits to blood transfusion since these cells were surviving anywhere from 30 to 110 days. Secondly, she provided a real way to study blood transfusions and blood storage. Dr. Ashby's research and technique went largely unnoticed until the late 1930s during the outbreak of World War II. This was a time when doctors and scientists needed to figure out blood transfusions and blood storage very quickly. They turned to the Ashby technique as the groundwork for their research. Now, technology came along in the late 40s that made the Ashby technique somewhat obsolete but largely proved the accuracy of her findings. In 1948, scientists were presenting these findings in Washington, D.C. Dr. Ashby sat in the room. Another person sitting in the room, Dr. Eugene Cronkite, recalls an exchange. A man looked at her and said, Dr. Ashby, you heard all the data presented today about the lifespan of the red cell, and you've been very quiet. Would you care to comment on something? And she sort of giggled, and she said, Oh yes, it's nice to know that all these fine scientists have shown that I was correct in 1921. And that's all she had to say.